right, so, hello, um, welcome to, or back to my channel. It's been a, a while since I've been back, and I acknowledge that. It's been a pretty hectic, busy couple of months, and, um, thank you to everyone who has, um, stayed here and remained a subscriber because honestly there has really been no reason for someone to remain subscribed to me i've been completely absent from youtube and to be quite honest i've been a little disenchanted with makeup lately um it's just something that is no longer like a priority for me um i still enjoy doing it and i am going to do sort of like a get ready with me kind of style video today but um I just kind of wanted to talk about what's been going on with me like what my plans are for this channel um, I'm not really here to um have like contribute a lot to the beauty community or anything I really just wanted to do this for I've also been kind of sick um like at least once a month and um, we'll see how far I can get with this video, to be honest. Today was um, basically the Friday before Memorial Day, so I got to leave work early. Um, actually, in the morning I was wearing makeup, but um, I'm gonna wear makeup again. kind of sick all, all year. <laughs> um, I'm not really going to divulge into like exactly what's been going on because it's personal, but it's been a little bit of a difficult year for us and um, we're just um, doing our best right now. It's just been a little hard to do YouTube videos just because like I'm just so tired <laughs> from work and every night um, I've been at home with the toddler. So she is such an angel. She's pretty much perfect in almost every single way. My only issue is really just sleep. get a whole lot of sleep every night because she is pretty much consistently just fighting bedtime and while I would love to do more makeup videos <laughs> or any anything at all really like, um, whenever I have time I've been choosing So I've been doing lots of painting and drawing and in April I actually took a workshop with one of my friends at work and I learned how to embroidery and that was really fun and basically I enjoyed it so much I've actually like been doing a lot of pieces um, but in the style of embroidery I have purchased a lot of hoops I already had a lot of thread from when I used to make friendship bracelets when I had my friendship bracelet phase so I didn't really have to buy a whole lot of materials I really just needed like maybe some extra needles um, some fabric and hoops but other than that I really didn't really need a whole lot of other kind of thread and it's been really cool I've been able to just kind of sit on the couch and you know, stab something a thousand times it's very cathartic So for my face today, um, I use the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Hydrating Balm Stick, and I also use the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Luminous Primer Stick. Um, so I did find out that Wet n Wild is no longer cruelty free, and 
Um, I'm not really sure if I like made it clear on my channel because it's been so long since I filmed that I like barely even remember what my purpose was anymore. Um, but I've never been someone who thinks like makeup is cruelty free. I've always felt like there is always some kind of cruelty involved with any participation in capitalism whatsoever. So while probably 90, maybe now 80% of my collection is what's considered cruelty free, I still feel like there's a lot of sacrifices that go into cruelty free makeup and makeup in general. So I just, when I found out that Wet n Wild was no longer cruelty free, I was just like, yeah, because nothing is truly cruelty free. Um, like it sucks because like, you know, I want everything to be cruelty free. I want things to, you know, benefit the earth and animals and the humans that, you know, stay on this earth. But at the same time, I'm just like, I feel like it's really unreasonable to put that kind of, um, those kind of expectations on companies and corporations due to the fact that, you know, eventually the products that we have the ingredients had at one point they were tested on animals or or other people without their consent you know there's just a lot to unpack there and i just <clears throat> rather than like only purchasing from cruelty free brands i opt to like just kind of purchase less um and even now like I'm purchasing a lot less from makeup brands anyway because I am kind of moving on from this stage of my life. The other day I bitched about how everybody was, you know, complaining about the drama and about James Charles and Tati and then Jeffree Star and like, you know, <laughs> it, was, it was just really getting on my nerves. I just was kind of sick of hearing about it. Um, I don't, I didn't really watch the videos or anything like that. I watched the Tawny one and then I was like, oh Jesus. It just, it's like I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I never anticipate that the beauty community is going to be drama free. It's just kind of the nature of this community. I don't expect, you know, people to, be you know amazing citizens of society just because they are like technically public figures i don't i don't think we should expect that highly of them but at the same time like i'm not going to support them i still think it's kind of messed up that people support jeffree star and also like there's a lot of brands that I just really don't want to support anymore, including <laughs> Too Faced. I just, after like some remarks that Jared um, Blandino made, I just, he's a bad person. And I just, I, I just feel shitty to like constantly be, you know, bombarded by these products that are just made by bad people and I see just people that I I like to watch I guess um, and I also like to talk with occasionally and, and they still like you know talk about Too Faced products and I'm just like he said rich lives matter on a cake like making fun of black lives matter like that is not okay with me <laughs> sorry the AC came on we're just gonna have to live with it <laughs> But um, I got this as a gift and I'm gonna use it up. I'm gonna use this whole damn palette up. <laughs> and I, I actually do love it. I use it every single day. <clears throat> but, you know, there are plenty of alternatives. I do not have to resort to just this. I don't have to repurchase it, you know, when it's, when it's gone. Today is unusual because I am doing my face first. Usually I do my eyes first because I'm just so excited to do my eyeshadow that I just wanna, don't want to do my face until the very end. But lately I've been feeling a little bit differently about that. I'm going to find out, figure out what I want to wear as eyeshadow and we'll go from there. I definitely want to use some of the newer things in my collection. Like maybe from Cleona or... Um, by 
newer, I mean, I got this like months and months ago. I haven't really bought a whole lot of makeup. I did buy some things from Wet n Wild because I made, I ran out of um, moisturizer and I just wanted something that was more hydrating. I do really like the hydration stick that I used for my face. I probably will buy that again because I really, really like it. Um, and I do think it adds some like moisture to my dryness. I got really dry after my pregnancy. Okay, so I got my shimmery shade. Now I need some mattes. I think I'm gonna go with Toadstool. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully you can see me okay, because I'm using just like a, a lamp. <laughs> Toadstool is like this beautiful brown base with like teal blue reflect. It's just such a pretty color. It's very unique. Struggling with what to do with it. I think I might bring up my e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pot palette for this. This is what it looks like. I think this palette's pretty underrated. I think I commented on somebody's um, YouTube video once and they were like, eh, I don't know if I would recommend it. I mean, it's cheap, but like, they were kind of so so about it. But I needed new brushes, and I, I like e.l.f.'s brushes a lot, so I just went ahead and picked this up, I guess, out of impulse at the time. And that was last year. Last year was a really bad year for my spending. I was so depressed and unhappy with, like, where my job was going and stuff. I love my coworkers. I still do. See, like, <laughs> so many of the things that I use are wet and wild, and... Like, I could have been, like, a cruelty-free blogger, but now I'm not anymore. There's so many new releases that have come out since I, like, kind of dropped off of the face of the earth from YouTube. And, like, I feel nothing. <laughs> I feel nothing when I look at it. Um, Kleana did their release of, um, their stained glass collection. Which was essentially, like, their take on, um, multi-chromes. And they have some multi chrome everything. I made myself a wish list, and, and then finally, when they came out, I was just like, You are too poor for this shit. You cannot be buying makeup. I've been way more into painting, drawing. Um, I've also been obsessed with plants. I have 30 plants now, um, house plants, and um, oh, I just, I love plant videos, I just, I love watching them, I love watching people like talk about plants and giving advice on how to take care of them and all that stuff. What I like about buying plants versus like buying makeup now is that, um, you know, the plants will eventually just go back into the earth. Even if I'm unsuccessful with keeping a plant alive, you know, at least my consumption like led to like more food for like worms or something or fungus or whatever. I just, I find that I feel less guilty about being a plant mom rather than someone who like has been spending excessive money and time on a uh, like a pile of colorful dust. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still love doing makeup and I really love like all the people that I met what like on my journey to makeup. It's just like the feelings that I had while I was obsessed with makeup could not have been like more unhealthy. I just remember being so obsessed with trying to get like certain products. I remember how like Sugar Pill was like one of the only places you could get bright, colorful make like eyeshadow, and like I killed myself just to get like the Love Plus single eyeshadow, and like. For what? Like, if you had told me that, hey, future Camille, like, there's gonna be such an abundance of makeup, like, you're not even gonna give a shit about this overpriced one pan of eyeshadow. 
like don't get me wrong i like sugar pill and i i think like you know they have quality makeup but it's so expensive so unnecessarily expensive i just i cannot believe that i went like so far just to like purchase you know that one eyeshadow and i also remember when Pastel Goth came out and I was just like, if I don't get this palette, it's gonna be the end of the world for me. Like, I will be full of regret if I don't get my hands on it, blah, blah, blah. And like, I begged my husband to buy it for me or I think I bought it with my tax return money. I was just like, I made it. And now I have it and now it's just like getting old and it's like, okay. and. <laughs> I, I just want to punch 2017, 16 me for like wanting, for just literally focusing so much on makeup. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go into the color Fossil from my Archeo palette. This, I still like to this day do not regret anything that I bought from Cleonato. It's one of my favorite, favorite eyeshadow formulas and I mean I know some people don't really like the mattes but I, I like them a lot I just I kind of feel bad almost for not picking anything up from their stained glass collection like I'm not a good enough like fan <laughs> because I, I I, I feel like I'm one of the people who was like, must buy all the Cleona things. And now I'm just like, it's beautiful, but I know I'm not gonna use all of that up. And I have so much eyeshadow that I have like no idea what to do with right now. Do I really need like multi-chrome eyeshadows right now in my life? Like, am I truly going to use all of this up before it goes bad? Like, I took like a, a, a very small financial um, like workshop class at work and I just was like kind of reminded I'm like you're too poor for this you cannot just be buying makeup you have you know school loans to pay now you have doctors bills to pay you know you have to pay for food you have to pay for like, gas and just utilities you cannot be doing this shit anymore <clears throat> okay i'm gonna look for a flat brush really quickly hopefully i can find one i'm taking that toadstool shade and just that is just so pretty gonna take one of these eyeshadows from the Archeo palette and put that on the inner corner part of my eye. I'm gonna take Glacial, which is like this light blue, like diamondy, crazy shade. It's just so bright. I kind of look nuts but I dig it so we're gonna keep going with it um, next um, oh my gosh look I found it mm -hmm. it's okay um, I'm just gonna take um, that pinky purple shade and just something um, I'm gonna pick out like um, a liner from NYX from the off tropic um, collection and I'm just gonna use this cute color like this now I don't know 
if these are actually intended for the lower lash line area. I looked at the NYX website, didn't see anything. But I still really like them. Um, I don't know if they're really intended as liner, but it's just called Pro Liner. And I love all of them. I bought all of them except for the red one because it was out of stock and I got it um, near the beginning of this year. I just wanted to like have colorful eyeliner. I've wanted colorful eyeliner for a long time. The price was right, so I was just like, I'll just get all of them. <laughs> totally recommend it um they don't last super long but they're like they last long enough for me so whatever um i'm gonna pick out a lipstick now um i picked up a new shade from um wet n wild this one is called uh behind the bleachers i would take i would get the other one that i have but it's my first i don't another thing about sugar pill is the liquid lipsticks that I bought the um, the applicator is like totally frayed I feel like they were old like they've been sitting um, in their boxes for a while it did not feel like they were worth like the tw the $20 I paid for, for like each of them or the $16 whatever it doesn't matter they were just overpriced I love Sugar Pill. I like their brand, but like I just cannot bring myself to buy their stuff anymore. It's just way too expensive. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm gonna take this headband out and brush my hair. <clears throat> Ooh, I've also been really into podcasts. So um, some that I've been watching include. Um, Uncivil from Gimlet, uh, Motherhood also from Gimlet, and listen to a lot of NPR specials too, and I really enjoyed those. Anyway, I think that's about really what's been up with me. Um, been very busy, been into more of my other hobbies. <sighs> Just trying to um, live my best life. <laughs> I guess and move forward from like the negativity that's been occurring and um, I'm not really sure what my, where my channel is going from here I definitely want to talk more about stuff I do enjoy YouTube um, I like talking into the abyss like this even if I get like two views it's like somebody saw me even if it was a bot um, but if you guys want to see some of my art, um, me painting, me drawing, um, me talking about podcasts while doing that or doing my makeup, um, I just feel like whenever I did tutorials, people didn't really care about them that much. If you feel like you're um, moving towards tutorials again, I think I would probably be more open to that. I'm just not very good at talking <laughs> and being a fun person to listen to. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching if you did. Um, I look forward to trying to do this again. Um, who knows when that will be, but I will keep trying. Um, thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.